Okay, so another video. I wanted to go over this setup because again, we're on Australian dollar, the one minute chart, and it's another lovely Judas swing setup that I'm going to break down in a little case study. So take some notes, like, subscribe, comment, and let's get to it. So as you can see, marked in this purple box here, we have the Asian session high and Asian session low. So I will play through price action and show the setup and speak through these. So to begin with, we end the Asian session and this is the beginning of London. So here, London session opens and we see this is an area of interest immediately, even with price down here, because we've had a heavy sell off at the open, and this identifies that liquidity will be resting above where I put these red highlights. And this level is likely to be taken in future price action. But in terms of the Judas swing, we're only interested in an Asian low sweep currently, or a high sweep, but due to the probability, we're below the midnight price, which favors buys we're coming towards the low. So we'll be waiting for a sweep of the low. So we'll play it forward more. There you are. So this candle at 8.12, 12 minutes past eight, sweeps the Asian low. So we continue on, price section. So London sessions open, large bearish price leg, which sweeps the Asian low. And this is the type of PA which allows me to begin looking for a Judas swing setup. Okay, so now what we're looking for next is this change of character, which is very important to identify the market structure shift, which tells you you can start buying. So we see liquidity forming here, and that would be our low now. And then as price continues, this would now be the level that we would be looking for to be swept to create the change of character. So we want to see a sweep of this level followed by a sweep of this level to show that that buyers are entering and we're beginning to move bearish, uh, bullish, sorry. So we get that sweep there, as you can see, followed by a sweep of this level which is, as I mentioned previously, sweep, sweep. This is now change of character, forming a market structure shift. So next, what we need to do is identify where we want to enter the market. There's a fair value gap here, as I've highlighted. So this is our POI now for this trade. So we mark that out. And obviously what we would do in this case is we would set this as a buy limit order at the open of the fair value gap seeing as it's so small stop loss placed 2.5 pips just below the low and as previously mentioned up here is the tp at the london open high where we mentioned that there would be resting liquidity which is likely to be taken by future price action so we've had our sweep of the low, we've had our change of character, we've identified our fair value gap for the entry, and we've placed our buy limit order. So now we wait for price to come back into the level, if it does, which we see there. So price tags us in here, and now we can let it play out. And there we go. So as you can see, that trade would net you 4% profit. It taps into the London high, open high perfectly and sweeps this liquidity, as I previously mentioned. My usual take profit target, as some of you might know from the previous videos, is normally 2% fixed. And as you see, that this white line shows 2%. So that would easily have been achieved in a lot less time. I mean, you would have achieved that in a 
about 23, 24 minutes, whereas this trade was open for around just under 45 minutes, which isn't bad for a Tuesday morning. But I just wanted to show this because this is exactly the same as the previous video if you watch it, except it's a long, not a short. And this sort of setup happens, I mean, I'm not going to say every day because it doesn't, but it happens at least once a week. And as long as you get familiar with seeing it and mapping it to the higher time frames, you, there's no reason why you can't capitalize off this. Obviously, you're going to want a raw spread account because this, because if you are trading the lower time frames, the 1, 5, 15, you're going to want good entries because say you had bad spread, you might have got entered down here, for example, on, on a bad broker. And then if you had your stop set, it, you'd be you'd be running such a small stop. Whereas if you have a raw spread account, you would get tagged at this at this fill price of 0.63624 exactly as you wanted to. And that keeps your risk reward the same and your profit and your loss. But yeah, that's just another example. Obviously, comment down below anything else you want to see, any other setups, styles, anything like that. And please like and subscribe because it helps. I'm going to try and pump out a lot more videos and explain more. So any notes or anything you want, just shoot me a comment and I will definitely get back to everybody. But hope you all have a great rest of your week and thanks very much for tuning in.